co-opted slogans there. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you know, we, we got to watch Texas because this is a really large state. Uh, they they they're they're a state that has shifted American history in terms of uh, public education, uh, in terms of history books. You know, because they they, right. they they draw a lot of water in this town. Yeah, it's bourbon, TK. Don't judge me. It's dark outside. Yeah, just about. Yeah, so, you gotta have dark. You gotta have dark liquor when it's dark. dark. When That's it's what dark. I heard. I drink light during the day. No, but you know what else? The reason that I know Texas would pull some dirty dirt bag shit like this. This is the same fucking idiots that want to su succeed from America. So they're they're on one. They really are on yeah. one. And Texas has been always known for frightening amount of racism. Yeah. So I'm not surprised trying to, you know, we, and they, we already know how important the black vote is. And you know who needs to know how important the black vote is and how important the young vote is? Biden needs to get up off that and start targeting the younger audience, uh, the younger general public, and the black uh, general public. I mean, not that Trump got a big following with that, but I mean, don't 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 act like we ain't important. Act like they don't so you know. You fucking win this shit. Yeah. Um. So you know that being said, speaking of uh, frightening, frighteningly racist, <laughs> uh, <laughs> for real, for real, John Bolton, uh, former Trump aide. It was like uh, that that Proud Boy shit yesterday was some real shit. Yeah, for so sure. This, this is John Bolton, right? Former ambassador for Trump. Came out with a book earlier this year, a couple months ago. Uh, you know, one of those exposés, sort of whistle, whistleblower books. Um, calling Trumpy Dumpty out. You know, he, he, he's, he's been anti-Trump since he left. Um, yeah. But he was like, that Proud Boy shit yesterday was like some shit where he knew what he was saying. and Clearly knew what he was saying. And rehearsed that, that, it. That was in order. Rehearsed. He called it rehearsed. He did. It, it, it was definitely rehearsed. Um, I didn't think anything else that. I mean, when you, when you saw it, Pedro, didn't you think, oh, yeah, that's some shit he would say. Um, you got to think he's he's been racist since, I mean, they've been clocking his racism since 1973. Yeah. They have a extensive list of the racist shit he said so when they came out bolton came out and said that shit was for real i'm like duh you know black people probably saw the shit and went yeah you know and the proud boys definitely knew it was for real because they started they making responded to it immediately immediately t-shirts and trinkets and yes, hats and shit all right, we've wait, we wait, we been waiting, motherfucker. We've been waiting for you. We wanted you to do it before. We've been activated. And our activation is to stand by activated. and not do nothing. And we finally feel good. We've been told to do God nothing and, and, to, and to just wait. Woo! And that's what we've been waiting here for. Is just to, We've been waiting to wait. Woo! Couldn't woo! wait to wait. And now that we can wait, woo! I've been, I've, been wait, I've been waiting to wait for so long, man. America. It's like now, that, I, yeah. now that we're actually just waiting, instead of waiting to wait, I feel like we're so much closer to America, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to do some balance, but I'm going to tell you right now, tell I'm going to tell feel you right now, brother. they like doing fist fighting. They like the fist fight, motherfuckers. I mean, they they said, you know, like the... And you know who actually sided with these motherfuckers? Not sided with them, but one of the leaders of it, or the spokesperson for it, Joe Rogan. I saw a video where Joe Rogan was like, yeah, this guy's mostly fun. No, he's fucking not. You know he's part of, yeah, Joe Rogan. is a video. The video's all over Instagram. Say, all say over that Instagram. Trumpy Dumpty is mostly fun? No, the head of the Proud Boys. Oh, sorry. My, okay. Uh, the head yeah. of the Proud Boys. Yeah, head of the Proud Boys. But, I mean, yeah, but, you know, a lot of times they've lost a lot of fist fights, so I know they're going to amp it up to guns now. Uh, yeah, because there was three different situations where I saw the video where they ran up on the wrong motherfuckers, and it wasn't like they ran up on a bunch of brothers. These were some white dudes, and the white dudes were like, hey, dude, I've been in the gym. Let's bring it, bro, and, and beat the brakes off these Proud Boys. Pink, pink. So, um, you know, I think that yeah, right they, now it's – it's, it is for real, though. I knew it was beer, for real. Beer, beer is part of their culture, so I, you know, I don't feel like they're like <laughs> really. Yeah, I saw know, that getting it in the gym like that. I don't know. You know? <laughs> uh, I, don't think, I don't think the gym is part of their yeah, regimen. Like they're not that regimented in that sense, but uh, uh, but, but they're you know, scary they're, though. Their dedication, they're scary, though. yeah, their dedication to being fucking dickheads is is amazing and racist. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. 
Um, so uh, speaking of, of being, so, you know, before we move on, because I don't want to just brush past this exactly, you know, is, 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 is this reality that uh, of these Republican voices now that are really calling this out and saying that um, Trumpy Dumpty absolutely knew what he was doing and was, you know, sort of activating a force. You know what I mean? Speaking right. directly to them in, in this very public forum, you know, through and past all of us, right? Just like saying, hey, Proud Boys. And then the next day trying to say he didn't know who they were. But it seems like... Oh, my God. And it Kelly seems Hans, like in the moment, you be like, who is that? Like, in the moment, if you really didn't know who they are, you wouldn't be like, Proud Boys, do this, do that. It's, you'd be right. like... You would have said, who are the Proud are Boys? They? Yeah, who are, the, who are the Proud Boys? Right. right. Oh, no, it was obvious. And you know what? What's this little Barbie fucking spokesperson? That little that little bitch that Kaylee I want. I want some. Yeah, I want some lesbians that dip their knuckles in cocaine and beat the brakes off this bitch. I can't stand her. She I would like just some though. hardcore dykey lesbians like just no, walk she, up and you think it's a dude and it's a chick. She, it's, she would be. She would. She would be she like your her ass off. She would be like your knuckles smell so good. Like she would. I, trust me. She wants. They. They are all druggy, drug head, coke head. Donkey headed ass slug knuckle ass, ass, But did you Just, see her on the when, when she was challenged, she was challenged about that, about the Proud Boys, and she was and then one of the, the um reporters said, Okay, okay, we got what he said. That's not true. So let's just ask you this. Do you right. denounce racism emphatically and since you are a spokesperson for the president? And mm -hmm. she couldn't answer the shit. When he was asked, he starts stuttering like Biden. I mean, what do, you want, what, uh, what do you want me to call it? What do you want me to call I don't know what you want me to call it. Do you want me to call it this? Yeah, sure. I don't know. You know, yeah, but yeah, Biden said Proud, uh, Proud Boys. He said it like looking at him like, yeah, we know you fuck with them. And he watches Fox News religiously, and they're on there a lot. So he knows who the fuck they are. Ugh, I can't stand that motherfucker. I hope he get kicked yeah. in the head by a donkey. All right, so so speaking of donkey head blows, um, there you go. I, I've seen a lot of people tonight. A, a few people uh, comment on the number of of black people that are actually um, following Trump, especially black men. And uh, I'm 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 going to disconnect my uh, headphones and uh, and try and play this video in, in parts of it for you guys, just so so we can get into this next topic, uh, which is basically. Yeah. Black Lives MAGA. Yeah, it's pretty bad. And there's, there's, there's multiple videos, but I saw the video that you're talking about, and it's sad. It makes me, it makes me sad that there's brothers like this out there. Now, giraffe kick, yeah, giraffes can kick the shit out of you, so maybe a giraffe kick. Yeah, I seen a giraffe kick a rhino, and the rhino was like, the fuck is going on here, and ran. You know what I'm saying? Giraffe would kick your ass to death. All right, so I'm I'm gonna you got it. it. I'm gonna play it and try and uh, show it to you guys at the same time if I can. My name is Edwin Arthur. I'm an LA Proud Boy chaplain. Um, I didn't always support Trump. I didn't vote for him because I didn't know to trust him. I didn't trust Hillary Clinton at all, and would have never voted for him. So I wanted Trump to prove it, and he has proved it to me, and I will vote for him in 2020. So uh, I believe America make America great is real. I believe it's real for black people and black Americans to support making America great again. I believe black Americans made America great from the beginning. I believe black Americans make America great. So we should all mock them. And uh, don't fall victim to a lot of false ideologies, race pimping, and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I joined the Proud Boys. I looked out and tried to find them for four months. Because I believed in their ideology. And when I found them, they treated me like a brother. All love. We're mixed between all different races, ages, and sexualities. Yeah, it didn't matter. And sexualities. We got gay members, Asian, Black, Hispanic. And Indian. there's not one Indian. There's not one, there's not one race. Wow. Nazi. <laughs> that I've that I met. Yeah. We got an Indian. So, and I've been called more racist redneck Nazis than ever, which is very odd. 
Coon. We'll add Coon to that. Uh, all right. So that that that's, that's what that was. Uh, hold on. Uh, all I got to say is there's some coons in this house. There's some coons in this house. There's some coons in this house. God cap. damn, they that, that was coonish. They got, they got that cap. They got that cap. That yeah. Ass pussy. Uh, <laughs> coon ass pussy. So, man, listen. Um, yeah, yes, there is this thing that's going on where there, there are, you know, there are Negroes doing this. Like they said, we got an Indian, you know what I mean? Like, we got a gay, you know what I mean? Like, um, right. but we, I think we here on Savage AF, right? I, I've seen all the, you know, uh, you know, monikers that you could give to a, a person like that. Um, is that this is, he's obviously being used as a, a prop. And propaganda Absolutely. Prop is the same thing, right? Like, it's like, you're, you're being used as a, a set piece to tell a story, right? That, that's what happens in Hollywood. Is they, they set a stage, uh, or Broadway, whatever. You, you set a stage to tell a story. Um, and you use these different pieces to, to, to give us information about that story. So you're going to use somebody like this. Right. No, of course, of course. To make yourself not, not a racist group. Um, even though we've seen, you know, like, the the founder who used to be Vice Media, uh, what's his name, McInnes? Uh He uh, yeah, he's the one that was actually on the video, and he used to have a podcast with Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan is there bigging him up, bigging him up. Cuts it's a video cut together of showing him being bigged up by Joe Rogan. Yeah. But okay, wait, pause, 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 pause. It's pausing. I don't know what happened. Kajo, can you hear me? Yeah, man. We got you. Yeah. No, it's it, it's paused. Uh, it's, uh, there it is. There, there it is. Um, OK, you good? Oh, yeah, I'm good, bro. We right here. I just have to, I have to charge my phone. That's all it is. No, you had to plug your phone in. No, I'm just saying, like, it, but the end of the day is you already know there's a ton of people like that. I feel like. They dipped her. He was. He's been dipped in Candace Owens' asshole, and that's what happens when you're dipped in Candace Owens' asshole. You come out like that's the sunken place. Her asshole is the sunken place. I just. Can't, I. I mean, when I first saw the video, but this, I saw multiple videos with where they picked one black person to speak out on it, and just like they trotted out the one black person that the AEG A, AG hired. And they do the same thing. They're all props, and they're also people who hate themselves. There's a you have to have a deep seated hatred of yourself yeah. to act as though these racist people love you. Real so talk. I mean, I wasn't surprised. Real talk. Have we seen any of those Negroes, so called Negroes, as, as uh, Malcolm X would say, um, who who were dancing around uh, Herman Cain? And by the way, you know the the you know that that was something uh, one of those. Uh, moments at the debate that I thought Biden missed when, you know, Trump, Trumpy Dumpty basically tried to say it. Nobody's been hurt from his rallies. I was like, Herman Cain, the one nigga, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hello, right. time to talk about the black dude dying first, like in a horror movie. Uh, yeah, I saw, I saw Colbert. Colbert said the same thing. He said, nobody's been hurt. Well, why don't we just ask Herman Cain? Herman hey. Cain? Herman, Herman, Herman Cain. Anybody yeah. seen no. Oh wow! No. Exactly. So we already know. I we already know the situation that, I, with that. But when you first live, saw it, Pedro, what is? Huh? Even live, I was thinking that. So you know, like, like I, I didn't see Colbert say that. Like that. That's the. You know, th that was just obvious to me. That's just one of those things. Like, bro. Oh like, no, no, no! I'm saying, but when you just, first saw the video, what did you think? The first thing I thought is of this dude. Well, yeah. There's the diamond and silk, or whatever the fuck those two fantastic cunts were. were. You got Diamond and Silk who were actually speaking out for Trump and arguing for Trump. You had the Candace Owens who had the Omarosa for a while there was 
in the sunken place, and now I guess she, I guess, came to see the light. There's a lot of black people that are lost and believe in the crab in the barrel mentality, and also been there was always slaves like that. There was always slave mentality. People like that, like, well, you know, he's trying to run away. I go tell him. Every, and that motherfucker was the dude in Django. He was the dude in Django to me. Who's that nigga on that man? Right. I don't. Samuel Jackson's character in Django when. Uh, his master got killed, and he's like, "Oh man, look, oh, man, he's crying." I could see this black man doing the exact same thing. It's fucking horrible, and well, he needs yeah. his ass beat. And I would like to fist fight him. In fact, if he's listening to this, maybe we could get together and we could uh, slap box. I just you know want slap box. You know what? When I when I saw the video, you know, since you asked, it's like I. <laughs> You know, I'm I'm listening to the brother and I understand he's a prop. But then when you see the the white guy behind him who's like, Yeah, and this is our brother, and then he starts to speak up, but you can see you can see how happy he is in in, in the affirmations of his ideologies, right? That that now he has this black spokesperson who can legitimize what he's saying. It was like his racism, right? Like, like when I saw when I saw that part of, like when it got to that and I was like, okay, cool. Cause you need to see that too. To actually see the the puppeteer behind, you know, the marionette. You know, this is he's Geppetto. This nigga was Pinocchio. You know what I mean? Everything he said, his nose kept growing. But the reality is the strings are being pulled from up here, right? Like, yeah, uh, but I, I, I let me ask you this question. I don't know how he got to this place. I don't know if they just took a. Oh, no, I know how he got to this place. Um, somebody black, took... probably, a black okay. woman probably beat, hurt his feelings or something like that, or somebody black rejected him. I mean, they'd have taken a homeless person and cleaned him up and given him some money and be like, listen, bro, you know, just talk about how the Proud Boys took care of you. You know what I mean? And then. They could throw this motherfucker in the river for all guy. You know, I don't know. And but, we would never see him again. That's well, like the black dude that was standing behind Trump. It says black for Trump, blacks for Trump. Um, he was getting a check. Yeah. They interviewed this dude and he said, No, I did it because I was getting a check to stand behind Trump on at his rallies and be the only black face that you could really see. And he would hold up a sign that says blacks for Trump. This is the same situation, the same situation as the guy I saw. And then they say, what are you trying to say? Black people can't have a, a free mind to think the way they want to think? Uh, not in this situation, motherfucker. Oh, wait a minute, nigga. Your strings are showing, bitch. Oh, I can't stand you. I can't wait to meet you in real life so we can slap box. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I'm telling you, man. But I've met people like that. I've been on a, a, a Jesse, a Jesse. So I did his show a long time ago, and he's like that. Like, well, it's the blacks' fault. It's the blacks' fault. He all, everything is is the blacks' fault in his situation. I, I mean, when you sent me that shit, I was like, this dude really is in the sunken place. He's no, really he's lost. Not. It was it was interesting to see uh, a black person talking for the Proud Boys and being part of it, as he said. But. Uh, <laughs> I was like, okay, this is, you know, this is Proud Boy propaganda number one. It's to say, no, oh, yeah. we're not racist. What do you mean? We've got a black. <laughs> <laughs> no, Haven't you seen our nigger fine. toy? He's speaking his truth in his heart. Like, come on. Yeah, said, we got our got nigger gray. toy. Come we've on. Got a black. We've got an Indian, right? And I don't right. know what tribe he's from. He's like, but I'm from India. And they're like, listen, just See? fucking do the thing. Um, so <laughs> read the script. Read the, the script. This fucking get yeah. on script, guy. Uh, so you know th this is how that propaganda works. That's just what, one of those things we need to understand. Um, right. And, and, and uh, you know, as we move forward, just and I, I think we all understand that here. But it was it was one of the things that I wanted to share with the community because it's like that. That shit it was is fucked out up, there. though. That's, yeah, it's awesome. but it did, but doesn't it make you? You know what it did? It made me sad, from a standpoint of it made me hate a portion of black people who think like that. That that constant. And I thought about comedy wise how sometimes when we're doing white clubs or white owned clubs who have their quota and whatever else to, to do as a comic, and how 
hard it was for me. To, I don't want their acceptance. My act is my was my act. I came off uh, the way I came off, and I noticed that I couldn't get as far along because I didn't just go along. Right. And even though I, but the only reason was asses and seats that they still even fucked with me. Man, you know what? So, brother? and that, and that that brings up a perfect point because that 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 ultimately is is the issue in this moment is that you know. I believe that as black people, we can't always just be capitalists, right? Like you can't do anything for money, right? Because there are certain situations where it will detrimentally hurt your people. Like it will hurt oh, absolutely. the entire population of uh, uh, your, your demographic, people who look just like you. So like, you know, like the dude who's, who sat behind Trump with the blacks for Trump sign, like yeah, that's that's a real yeah. I don't care how much money you, I don't care, nigga. Be homeless, be homeless, dog. Before you do that, and I'm talking you, and I'm saying that from a standpoint of having done it myself, right? Like of having been in that place myself. So I don't say that lightly. I'm not just throwing those words out like, oh, just don't live anywhere. Like nigga, I've done that. And I'm telling you. In no moment would I have ever just done anything for money, even in even in those moments, right? Like it's not that nothing's ever that deep. Well, you uh, but you know what? But yourself. also, you got to how that shit affects your people, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I know, people. but Pedro, you got to look at your situation, and I'm going to I'm going to give you a little, a very micro history of Pedro. Pedro was brought up by a woman that is very strong, so you in turn will have a strong-minded. Does that make sense? So then there's a lot of people that aren't strong and their parents aren't strong or they weren't surrounded by people that were strong like that. So you're going to see black people that have. And I'm going to say what, um, you know, uh, Yusuf said is a lot of people have self-loathing. They hate themselves. So in turn, they hate other black people. So they don't see any problem with holding up a sign and doing that. So it's all about self-worth and self, you know, self-hatred. There's a, there's a self hatred, and I said even the diamond and silk or whatever the fucking these two crazy uh, who got fired by Fox because I guess they didn't ham it up enough. Every time I saw them, I just saw every every time I saw them, I thought they'd lift their titty up and butter biscuits would just fall out. This they just From they were so butter biscuits. They 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 look like ladies who would put cheddar bay biscuits under their titties. Yeah, they they were horrible. Be like, we need what's up, Tula. You know, oh, well, uh, yo, <laughs> can I just have one more bag? <laughs> Savage AF brought to you by the world famous Laugh Factory, powered by uh, us. Um, <laughs> powered by us. Make sure you <laughs> follow at Black Pedro and make sure you to, um, subscribe to the podcast version of the show, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify, um, SoundCloud. Um, we're on all of those different platforms. You go on there, any platform you subscribe. But also, we have a new YouTube channel, which we appreciate you checking out. If you miss a show, you can check out a show later on um, YouTube. If you can't stay for a whole show, you can watch it in pieces on Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I see that uh, we got six people that subscribe tonight. Thank you so much. Thank I'm seeing it right here. We appreciate it. Um, we, so, we do appreciate it. Um, so before we bounce to, to uh, our last topic of the night, and then it could be whatever, uh, J.D. Line, Pat, always love you. Thank you for coming through. Uh, she says, as long as we are vulnerable to the material thing and still hate one another as black people, how do we as a people come together? Um, to be honest, uh, I think I think there's you know like the old Chris Rock joke an, an internal civil war that needs to happen where we need to keep calling out. The, I think you know for me personally that's why I'm I'm so quick to call a coon a coon when I see a coon um, and and you know it, it's we we gotta call that out because I'm I'm constantly calling for good white people to, to get on your right. anti-Nazi game. Like, Antifa is a good ideology. Anti-fascist, that's what that means. Good, a good right. thing to think. White people get on it. A lot of fascists among you get on them. You know what I mean? And we need to get on our coon and, 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 and weed that out, however it happens. Like, 
I'm not talking about anything violent. I'm just talking about yes. Like when we call people coons and they're like, I'm being called a coon by my own people. Yeah, yeah. I need you to sit in the corner. Well, you caused that. that. You caused. You're the cause of that coonness. Say it again. Right. They caused the coonness. I don't think that it just came out the blue. You caused the coonness. Yeah, sit, sit in that moment. Like sit within it. And understand that wow. Is that a call? No, it's be. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, whoa. Got it. My 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 computer. Sorry. That's all good. But you know, like for No, no, the show I'm gonna do on Zoom is actually on and I'm up last, so that's why I was like, you know. Oh hilarious. Okay. Just make, it it's horrible. Let let us know uh, when you gotta bounce, dog. Um No, hey, yes, this is this this this, this that bullshit we gotta do now. This is that bullshit we gotta do. That's See that's the <laughs> comedy now yeah that's that's the comedy club right now that's the comedy club right now Damn. so um so so all right so before you got a dip man um you know obviously i i'm i'm just saying like i i think we should stay strong on our calling out the coon game and that's how you weed them out and you you you, you call them out signal them saying hey this ain't right this ain't the way to speak you can have your opinion but we got ours and and, right. and and I'm gonna express that. So and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm probably gonna be able to come with information for your ass. Uh, and if not, the the, the the other thing is like, and I think this is a good segue into the last thing we're gonna talk about. Is it is about where your mindset is and where your mind's at. If you got beaten down so much by what you believe black people should be, or you know, or black what they should do. Um, you might end up being the motherfucker that's down with the Proud Boys because you just you just want acceptance somewhere because you didn't get acceptance. But he said, they welcomed me and they treated me like a brother. But they're not your brother, motherfucker. They out beating people up and shut the fuck up. They're not your brother. Oh, man, he, he, need, he need. But see, that's one of the motherfuckers I want him to go out and be one of the Proud Boys and he's the first one I want knocked unconscious and stomped the fuck out. And that's bad. That's bad, but that's the shit I thought when I saw that video. Like, you be you need to be the first one to get your ass beat. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, with all that said, man, it's a it's a lot going on. Tough times. We we gonna do we you know we gonna we gonna end tonight with a uh, just a, a mental health check for everybody, making sure everybody's good because the show Savage AF. You know, we say fuck your feelings. We we talk really really <laughs> raw. But the reality yeah. is, uh, you know, there are very real things that are going down. So just so y'all know, every other Thursday, you know, I, I, I talk to my therapist, right? A, a licensed psych right. psychologist, a black woman from Detroit as well. <clears throat> she also went to Ivy League school. Um, so we have a lot in common. But today was the, actually a little bit frustrating for me in, uh, in, in therapy. Because I, I did start off the session saying like, you know, Doc, shit is tense. I've been I've been down a little bit lately, you know. And the other day I bought an AR-15, <laughs> which I didn't quite say it like that, but it, you know, it, it, it's it's not a great. It, 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 that's called a flag, man. That's called yeah, a red yeah. flag. No, no, and she wasn't like that. She's fucking around she with you. Me. Hey, no, man, no. Hey, Pedro, are you okay? You okay? I've been working with her for a while, so you know, she she knows what it is. But she was like, you know, I'm wondering what's bringing this up for you. You know, and I, I, you know, I was expressing myself and talking and blah, blah, blah. And then at some point, like, towards the end of the session, you know, she was just like, but what's making you feel like you need to bring all these weapons into your house? And I was like, Doc, I feel like I've said this a million times today. Crackers. Like, <laughs> like crackers. <laughs> like, you know, like, not the crispy that's, things that that's you what it, that's what or it is. Cheese, like, these right. fucking knucklehead crackers out here. Like, you know, and she's like, okay, I mean, I get that. And you've been talking a lot about your exter external responses um, to, to these external things, but like, how do you feel? And I was like, oh, you want to know my feelings? I was like, yeah. Uh, you know, there's, there's worry and anxiety and right. know, sadness and depression. But then I got a gun and started training. And a lot of that, you know, got alleviated because I'm like, well, if shit hits the fan, I have a plan. <laughs> you know what I mean? To throw shit right back on <laughs> You know what though, Pedro? Sounds a little bit 
like, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, I'm fucking around. No, no, you know no. what, though? I mean, I know what you mean. And so basically here on Savage AF, we know we say fuck your feelings. But, I mean, sometimes you this whole pandemic thing uh, can make – it can wear you down to the point where you are questioning everything. And then forget just the pandemic. If it was just a pandemic, it's the whole shit show of everything. It's the shit show of the presidency and the GOP and racism and all this other stuff. And our business is a hard business to constantly get this you're not good enough at shit that they give us. Even when you are good enough, you're not good enough. Right. You know, so that's what that's what they do. So and uh, um, and, and take no. Sh I see you out there. She said, yeah, is she white? Because uh, no. My therapist, like I said, she's a black woman from Detroit, like me, from the city. Uh, Ivy League educated as well, um, but she was she was playing therapist role. Like she 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 was you know because I'm talking about guns and shit. So she she had to stay in that role and just make sure I was in a good place. But I'm like, dog, like no, I'm good, and you know, you know. But yeah. I was like, it's just it's hunky monkeys out there. So I'm just, you know, it's, 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 it's a crack of wackle. Yeah, like, right. Yeah. Like, like, it's, it's like, it's I like, um, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not imagining, a, you know, I'm not thirsting for the day where I have to do anything with that. But, uh, and El Noob, fuck you. She's not a Jordan fan either. God damn it. Yeah, I'm going to stay off these shoes. And when I wear them, a lot you're going to get off those shoes. I see, why I, got, I see why you got it. I feel but like you, you're about to, you know what you're about to on them shoes. Them shoes. Yeah, you know what you're about to say? You know what you're about to say? I ain't gonna I ain't gonna take too many more of these Jordan fucking responses. Too many more of these goddamn we ain't gonna be too many more of these and then if then you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna have to pull these I'm gonna have to pull these paws out on you. No, I think that it's good that she did definitely, but you you definitely have a handle on it. I feel like with me, I um the the way I feel about it, I I've actually been pretty good. I mean I have had I had such a rough year last year um, medically and surgically no, and no, yeah, fucking no, sure. and fucking uh, you know what I'm saying right. where you almost right. die. So I mean, I, I I mean it's just basically two years of shit for me. And comedy wise is what gets me down sometimes when I like they're taping some Netflix specials this weekend. And as motherfuckers is taping that I'm happy for Tony Woods, very happy for him, right. Godfrey, happy for him taping a half hour Netflix joint. Um, Tiffany Haddish, it's called They Ready. It's Tiffany Haddish joint, and I'm, you know, I'm proud of Tiffany, but you know, I get, I get a little, I get a little frustrated sometimes. It's like, so funny don't even matter. You can't, so you ain't got to be funny doing stand up no more. Is that the new rule? Um, you, you know, you saw for a while on the show. What was I doing? The Gerard Carmichael fucking? Oh yeah, Shang, Shang be throwing arrows, nigga. He will black out the. Sun. Yeah. <laughs> I would. Yeah. I mean, if. I, I like there was a point where if he was in a river and I was the only one that could grab him, I'd be like, that nigga gonna have to, he gonna have to float on, float on, baby, float hey, on. Wait, here, here's the reality though. Let, 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 let I, you know, and I saw Breezy JJ say she's okay. Just want to make sure everybody's okay out there. You know what I mean? Like we, uh, there, there is a lot going on right now in our society, and um, you know that that was a, a long conversation I had today with. You know, my licensed therapist, who is a black person as well, going through all these things. She has black sons right. who are close to my age. So um, there, there was no misunderstanding about what's going on. She was just trying to check in on my feelings. And it took me it took me a while to realize that because, you know, I'm like, fuck my feelings. This is what I got to do. <laughs> you know, what I mean? like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm if somebody I'm break into your house like, and be like, we're going to kill all the niggers. Yeah, yeah like, you're not going to be like, I'm like, it's crackers yeah. outside. Like, I didn't, it's, it ain't no feelings involved in this. I'm like, I'm just preparing anti cracker shit. Like, I've been telling them my friends, right. I'm in full cracker defense mode right now. Like, that's all I'm, you know, I don't give a... You know why, Pedro, you know why? They're not going to be, when they're going to, when the Proud Boys roll up on you, they're not going to ask you how you feel. Like, Pedro, how you feel? We're about to jump you and stomp you, but how do you feel? Nobody's going to ask you that shit. So the main thing it's is, crazy. you know, you know, long as you're okay, because you are armed. Yeah. Um, 
I, people I have a tendency. That, 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 ain't, that ain't the end all be all. I know, I know. But people but think when you're armed, like, it's they have to ask thing. you, you, you good? You good? Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, this can't be real. C. Vons 247 says, Antifa has destroyed my city, and you support them? For what? Uh, I, I haven't heard of any city that has been absolutely destroyed. And I, I play a lot of, you know, war games and stuff like that, and, you know, video game-wise growing up. Uh, so I understand what a destroyed city means. I, I grew up in Detroit uh, on the east side. Like, we have whole blocks. There's one house on the whole block. Like, all four sides, one house. Some blocks with no houses on them, though, in the city. So I know what a destroyed city is. So it's, A, Antifa is not a group. It's, it's an idea. Portland is not destroyed. Stop playing. Like, stop right. playing. Portland is not destroyed, C. Vaughn's 247. It is, there is no way that... Portland is still standing. New there. York is still standing, even Portland though the president... Had, some things may yeah. have caught on fire, trash cans, some building here and there. But if you're going to talk about it, bitch, I was in Portland for the first time last year, and I didn't mean to call you a bitch other than you sound like one right now. But... Um, <laughs> oh, Portland, damn, man. That's why it came out. But Portland last year... I mean, my main joke was I've never seen a more diverse city. Like, I've never seen so many different kinds of white people in my life. Okay, so your city is not destroyed, and it won't ever be destroyed. I, I, I will come see it. There, there, there are things that may have uh, – trust me. Shang and I were supposed to be at Harvey's in Portland. Harvey's yeah. City Club. We were supposed to be there, uh, like, the weekend of my birthday in May. But that shit got shut down because you're such a fucking fantastic leader, right? Um, but there is no Antifa, okay? Antifa literally means, what's up, L Lynette Kamara? I see you. Anti fascist. Yeah, I know that was last year. We know that. But Antifa literally means anti fascist, which we Period. all, as Americans in a democracy, we should all be anti fascist, okay? How you express that, we can argue about. But you, as an American, should definitely be Antifa. I am but, Antifa. I am anti-fascist. I am against... But you know fascism. what happened. It's on. You know what he's saying? It's on fire. Or he or she, I'm sorry, saying it's on fire right now. We I don't think California. the entire city... Stop. California's on, it, California's on fire from the sky. Like, fire is a season out here, dog. Like, give water, dog. Give water, dog. That's it. That's how fire dies, is with water, dog. Like, give water. That's your solution. If you see a fire, throw water on it, dog. Unless it's a right. green fire, they used to throw, like, sand or, like, a flower. Uh, like flower. If you're oven, but, you yeah. Catch this fire because you're trying to hide up, light up, like, but uh, Yeah, but check this out. Steve Vaughn is a Steve Vaughn. See, Fawn, I understand what you're saying, you, that you, you have the perception is because between the media, and it is the media, some of the people in the media are saying that Antifa is coming for you and that right-wing bullshit, just like they say Antifa's coming for you, just like they say Black Lives Matter is going to move in your neighborhood, then your whole neighborhood is going to go to shit. And the suburbs, the black people are going to move to suburbs like black people don't live in the suburbs right now. So I get that fear that you might have. But Antifa is not that. That's like me, you know, it's again. It's an idea. It's a description. It is not a description like of what you should be. It is not. It is not some group looming outside your house waiting to rape <laughs> your daughter and your face. I'm claiming, I'm claiming another bot here. I'm claiming that Sivan's two four seven is a Batiana. You're either a Russian entity or some other shit. But I there's just like no evidence that Portland has been destroyed. These are your words. You said your city has been destroyed. It's on fire. By yeah. Antifa. By Antifa, which is not a group. Although there is absolutely a group called the Proud Boys or the KKK or And the Boogaloo the Boys. Indian Nation, the Boogaloo Boys. Like there are so KKK. many KKK with so many names. Yes, one hundred nights there have been protests. Yes. But Antifa isn't a thing. Like, some of those things are your Boogaloo boys, your other motherfuckers. Like, 
they're the same. It's all the same. Like there are fascists. Right. It's just, it's, not, it's just like, come on, man. Protest to do their thing. So yeah, you're, yeah, you're come like on. QAnon. You're, you're QAnon aligned, Sivan. It's, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Like keep watching for the next hundred nights while they protest peacefully. And then some co-opt that shit. But don't tell, don't, don't even on this show, Savage AF, catch us Monday through Friday live here on IG. Uh, don't ever tell me that Antifa destroyed your city. There is no city destroyed, motherfucker. We've had our neighborhoods destroyed by crackers, okay? Tulsa, right. Greensboro. Uh, yeah, burnt Central down Arkansas. and bombed out. Burnt down and bombed out. So so stop. I understand, but we got another bot. But you know, Publicity Mag used to do that. Publicity Mag's been ghost because the rest of the people went so hard in the paint on Publicity Mag. I, I think maybe they went back into the swamp. Um, but yeah, you're gonna get you you go hear the dumb shit from people. But listen, Antifa, Black Lives Matter, where you they try to make paint it as a, a terrorist group, which it's not. But check this out. This is from the head of the FBI and the CIA has absolutely said that the number one threat in America, number one threat in America is white supremacists and uh -uh. white supremacy. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. Shane, hold on. Hold on, man. Uh, what, 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 what? I don't know if it's my feed or your feed, but I didn't quite hear what you said, brother. I'm going to need you to go ahead and say that again, man. Cause, uh, okay. The froze, number froze, one froze. We froze, threat. We froze. I froze. Okay, we froze for a second. I'm frozen. The, 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 the number saying? one threat. Uh huh. The number one threat in America. That's where we live. It absolutely positively uh -huh. Uh -huh. is white supremacist. Uh -huh. Period. Uh huh. Okay. So Not okay. Antifa. It ain't Black Lives Matter. Uh -huh. It ain't uh -huh. nigga in the alley. Uh -huh. It is number one white uh -huh. supremacist. Okay. White supremacist back. And okay. fueled uh -huh. by the misinformation that is given uh -huh. from the 37% of the information, misinformation that's been given, not only pertaining to COVID, uh -huh. but pertaining to race relationships, uh -huh. is actually from one man. Uh -huh. And that one man is Trump. Uh -huh. Period. The end. So uh -huh. do your motherfucking research where you say uh -huh. some dumb shit like that, saying, well, Antifa burnt my city down. Okay. It, was, okay. a, it was a black okay. woman named Antifa. Okay. She came in and uh -huh. she had a torch and she okay. just said, you motherfuckers going to see and burnt the uh -huh. shit up. Again, uh -huh. let me say something about white people. And I'm okay. going, Kim uh -huh. Jones, I got to go uh -huh. back to her. You lucky we're looking for fucking, you were looking for equality instead of revenge. Because uh -huh. we were looking for revenge. There wouldn't be just black bodies in the street bleeding uh -huh. that were unarmed. Uh -huh. If we were that type of motherfucker. Right. Uh -huh. We took care of your kids before we took care of our kids a lot of times. Uh -huh. So you lucky we ain't those type of niggas. Right. That he don't bring Gertrude out just on the strength. Like on the strength, so, just like, yeah, so, I think Gertrude needs to get some air after, today. I'm sorry. After 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 America, you froze. You froze. I'm sorry. So I'm sorry. Ah, shit. What, what's the number one problem in America again? <laughs> yeah, let me say it again. <laughs> exactly. I mean, so so uh, it's just weird when you hear people say that shit. It, Antifa burnt my Antifa stole my dog. It was Antifa, that group Antifa. They chilled, they stole my dog. The dog stealers. Stealers of dogs. Stop it. Port Stop Port it. Portland has more strip clubs per capita in America. You, 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 you got to understand the amount of women that are being trafficked through your city. And you want to talk about Antifa destroyed Portland? You have more strip clubs per capita than any other place in America, Portland, C. Vaughn's 247. You have more than Atlanta. Dog. <laughs> Think about it. Now, they might have more ass, <laughs> but you got That's more That's true, because I have been, to, the, I have been to Magic City, and Magic City, has they definitely have more. It's, it's definitely ass delicious down there, but... They really do get it in on a strip club. And so maybe that's part of y'all problem. Who knows? Look at this shit. I just want to say a side note. Look at this shit. This is what comedy, stand-up comedies come to. Yeah. These are all the people the are, that uh, the Ty, you know who Ty Barnett is? He's on yeah. now. Oh, he's, he's funny uh, as shit, man. 
Uh, yeah, that's Ty Barnett. Yeah, Ty Barnett is on now. And then uh, I'm on, a- I guess I'm on after Jesus. Yeah, El Noop, they have more strip clubs than Detroit, for sure. Um, but ours are just better. That's all. Uh, <laughs> I- I'm not even going to ask what Antifa means, but at least uh, Steve Rons is able to admit that these are white people doing this, which I, I think you understand. Like, a lot of the fucking violence that I see, the throwing of shit at police are from lighter skinned people, to be honest, in a lot of these cities. Yeah. So uh like you know, and this is a black a black lives matter issue where the, the, it's been co opted, right? Like a lot of the, it's it's them up front and then other elements come in and it becomes this fucked up thing, right? So um because understand these are these are black rights movements that spark right. all of this unrest throughout the cities. So it's ultimately about that, right? It's ultimately about black lives being taken at the hands of police, typically when we're unarmed uh, due to overaggression. That, that, that's always right. just the base issue, no matter what the fuck we talk about. It doesn't about. matter what we do, right. Oh beer. shit, Pedro got a Tic Tac. He got a Tic Tac, it looks dangerous. And then all of a sudden, yeah, Pedro got to get be killed because it's a Tic Tac. Also, oh, the Proud Boys are from Portland and are coming to Seattle and causing violence. Whoa, said, but nobody said, wants to talk about that. Yeah, she said the Proud Boys from Portland are, yeah, there. So I don't, I don't know exactly where they started, but the ones in Portland, because you know, understand they're city to city now. It's a network, right? Oh, yeah, no. We talked and about by the way, origins. we talked about their origins yesterday. So they are and, a network. Yeah. They, they, it's, it's city to city now. That, that The black dude we watched earlier, he said he was. He's an LA Boy, chapter, yeah. Proud Boys LA. So I'm like, okay. Um, and by the way, Biden did say that in the debate. He said Antifa, he definitely clarified what Antifa was. But of yeah. course, Trump didn't hear it. And hopefully American public heard it. But they probably didn't hear the shit. Because all they hear is socialists, uh, Antifa, uh, uh, frightening words, frightening words. That's how they're, they're so fucking dumb. I watched this video of the followers of Trump. And when I say that they, even when they get caught in a bold place, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about lying. They're like, well, uh, whatever. I'll do it anyway. They add, one lady was asked, if you caught him smoking crack over a dead body, would you vote for him? Absolutely. Yeah. This is how crazy it is a listen, cult. This is what we're dealing with. Listen, and Antifa ain't part of it. And this is they, you know. Racism. Yeah, and their founder was was said that they you know they want to go fuck people up and have the cops look the other way, and then you see videos of the cops literally walking past while they fuck people up. Uh, so Pam Doris box like they're networked in different cities through the police departments, and you know that's something that the FBI has also recognized is that. Okay, so let's connect these two dots, right? In 2013. Uh, the FBI released, and I've said this many right. times on the show, but you know, the FBI said American urban police forces are rampant with white supremacists. KKK. Like, all that. Like Nazis. Um, now they're saying that neo Nazis are America's number one threat. Right? So, white supremacists, Nazis are America's number one threat. And as of seven, eight years ago. Actually, it was a two-year investigation, so they started investigating this in 2011, so we're now looking at a nine, almost decade-long investigation. Uh, right. I'm sorry, not investigation, but gap since that investigation uh, began uh, that tells us that America's number one threat is fully embedded in most urban police forces. Right. And politics. And politics. Right. But on the street, in terms of your actual life, you know, understand that the FBI is is recognizing that, A, the police department is rampant with white supremacists, and then B, white supremacists are America's greatest threat right now. And C, Bill Barr, Bill Below the Bar, is down with a a white supremacist the head of it, and he's the cop, top cop in charge, and he's also fanning the flames of fucking racism. Mm-hmm. So he can eat a dick, they can eat a dick, Proud Boys can eat a dick, they can proudly eat a dick, and all of that. 
And the person that said something, if you're a bot or whatever the fuck, and you think Antifa's burnt your city down and you feel sad about it, it wasn't Antifa that burnt your city down. It was a maybe Antifa, the, the group that you think is Antifa, might have been created by people like that are tired of your motherfucking ass coming into cities and doing bad shit, you know, and maybe some of them are fighting back to that shit. They're not just walking around. Antifa's just not walking around kicking motherfuckers and trying to fuck them in the ass. <laughs> yeah. That ain't uh, happening. Sengbei Ben Yosef says America's police departments have always been living with racist Nazis, skinheads, KKK. Absolutely. Yeah. But during the Obama administration, I think for the first time we had, uh, you know, we had the FBI saying out loud that not only did they, did they investigate this issue, but that they're calling it out as a problem within our police forces, right? Not that they did anything about it. But at least that that information was made public to us. Uh, if you, if you were able to scoop it up, and if you didn't scoop it now, right? But yes, we should we should have always known that. But it's significant once the FBI admits it out loud. But now, once they say that, okay. Also, by the way, which is something we've always known, but it is significant yep. when they say it out loud, is that they're the number one terrorist group in America. That's always been true for black people. That's, that was the function of the group to terrorize black people, Africans, slaves. Right, right? nigger slaves. catchers. Right. They were called nigger catchers. Like Nazis, Nazis had to look at America to understand how to really do this shit, right? Like, you know, that, 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 it blew my mind recently, like it's a recent kind of just revelation. They're like, oh yeah, like, America was doing that way before the Nazis were, like. Yeah, which yeah. is something we knew. Other all countries along, have like, always. We don't really sit and think about it for a minute. It's like, oh yeah, like. Not to belittle anything that happened during the Holocaust, but like, that shit was happening like, way before here, man. Well, right. It felt like a black Keanu Reeves, like, well, well. Right. The Constitution was written. I saw a, a brother that does. Uh, he did a riff. And he said the Constitution was written before the light bulb was made. They wrote the Constitution by candlelight. And that shit, and, and, and that's when they felt that and we're still following this dumb Constitution that at the time thought that black people were three-fifths of a human being or three-fourths of a human being. I'm not sure which horrible shit they thought. So, I mean, the bottom line is we already know what the deal is. Y'all know what the deal is. This is Savage AF brought to you by the World Famous Lab Factory. Uh, if you get a chance, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe on the YouTube. On the YouTube, we are... Thank you for the numbers that you have given us. We appreciate you. Go to uh, Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. You can check us out. Um, I'm going to jump off and get on this, see how this Zoom show, because uh, Ty, Ty Barnett is wrapping up, and then I'm going to see this person, Jesus or Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's for, it's for the people who do our um, the podcast. It's oh, uh, oh, Paul. Killing the Comedy? Uh, yeah, it's Killing the Comedy. comedy it's Pop Killing the Comedy. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna do that real quick. Um, I don't even know what the thing is. They already got it going, and there's like 34 people here, yeah. 34 people on here, or something. 34 people are watching. So, and they're also on Twitch. So there's a bunch of people watching. So let me see how these jokes work. Um, we will be back tomorrow. What time? Three to four. I yeah, think it's three to four. Tomorrow we'll be on 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Moon zero three five nine eight. Before we get out of here, I, I I want you to not be scared out there. Just prepare yourself, see what's going on, and train. Have a plan. And let's all have be a safe. plan. Let's all be safe. And your plan, your plan shouldn't include sixteen hundred puppies and kittens on the back of babies. <laughs> it sounds like it was Pedro was like, dude, work. is this really your plan? I, I I was trying to make it as as a, a, a solid plan, but none of them. You shot down all of them. The models, the puppies, the little kids, the kittens. None of it fucking penetrated. Hey, man, I got to come up with a good one, though. I put myself in Republican shoes, and I was like, these don't work. This ain't, this ain't the puppies? Ah, <laughs> yeah, it'd have been a bunch of, a bunch of puppies. It'd have been a bunch of dead-ass puppies. So we're going to jump off. You guys will see you tomorrow. All right, we will see you tomorrow, 4, 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Tell your friends, friends, Danny friends Cho. about it. Subscribe. Danny Cho Comedy. What is it? He's hilarious. Yeah, comedy pop-up, whatever the fuck I'm doing that. I'm going to do that real quick. Yo, see y'all tomorrow.
Kill it, Shang. All right, man. Thank you, guys. Whoa, shit. Thank you very much. Appreciate you.